what is going on my everythings it is your girl janiqua a and i am back with another reading for you guys if no one told you guys today i love you and i know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do so y'all cheers to the weekend we made it to friday y'all we made it to friday archangel michael and a leg while please protect me protect my mind my body and my spirit clear all my chakras as we tap in to my everything's weekend energy all right this is going to be what's about to unfold and what's to come for the weekend i feel so good y'all i'm sending that energy straight to you guys if you guys feel strong, if you guys feel lifted, if you guys feel filled with vitality, put the um that robotic arm in the um comments. Wow, friendship. So for a lot of you guys, this is literally saying. There is some sort of friendship that you guys are mending, um, that you guys feel like it's worth working on, okay? Um, there may have been some mishaps um, with this friendship, but this is a symbol of reconnecting with a close friend, all right? There's a new ally probably in your energy all right there's positive positive support coming from a friend all right there's community here but you know this symbol is um a native american symbol and the two arrows crossed signals peace signals friendships and the end of a war so right now this it is a reconciliation here it's an end of some sort of war you was you was you've been going on with friendships with loyalty with relationships all right but there's a specific person that you're ending a war with or they are coming to you to end a war literally you guys may have been at war but you felt like this was your friend all right, a lot of you guys that have new friendship now, they are new allies. This is support. This is who you are to build a community with. This is safe. All right, so this is peace after ending a war in a specific relationship. Yeah, your spirit guys. Your spirit guys feel like whoever you was at war with, you wasn't supposed to be at war with. Simple. Your spirit guides, and you guys were guided to mend something. All right? On both of your parts, you guys were guided to mend some sort of war. Whether, you know, it was just, you know, righting y'all wrongs. But this is a friendship that is supposed to last. And that wasn't supposed to end or blown up the way it did from some sort of war. Okay? Yeah, home. Okay, so you, you've been guided, this person, and you, y'all have been guided back to each other, to men. Y'all friendships, y'all friendship was valued more, all right? It was worth more than how it ended. Ooh! Because it's your fucking soulmate. Y'all, this could be like just a friend. You consider because I'm getting two energies, all right? Because everybody is not coming back with they soulmate. Everybody is not forming a new friendship with they soulmate, all right? So one group of you guys feel like whatever new friend and new ally that you grew a bond with and a relationship with, you felt you feel like it was sent from God. You feel like you guys are so compatible. You know when you have a best friend and you feel like, that person is supposed to be your soulmate. All right. That's how the, that's how a certain friendship is going to feel. Like everything that you wanted in a person, you found it in somebody. Literally. Uh, even if it's just as a friend, like platonic. All right. But for others of you guys, there is somebody you was at war with. 
All right, there is somebody you was friends and y'all became lovers. Okay, I don't know what the fuck happened. Because again, this is a Native American sim symbol of some sort of peace and friendships from ending a war. All right, um, you guys might have crossed paths. You guys, um, something happened. It's like X marks the spot. They keep being led back to you. You keep being led back to them type of energy. This is your soulmate. And that's why your gods, like, y'all might not know it. Y'all might feel like it's something else. Your gods have a bigger purpose for this relationship because it has everything to do with a lot of you guys being friends with this person. Having a real, real close bond aside from making love with this person. A lot of you guys are able to really, really express yourself and listen to them express themselves without any judgment as a friend. All right, so this relationship has a bigger purpose and there is an ending of a war and a reconciliation that is adding peace, harmony, togetherness, happiness. All right, because this is your soulmate. The numbers out here, um, 49, 7, and 17. Okay, but this is your soulmate, y'all. Oh, my gosh. See, that's the bigger purpose. Your gods know that there is supposed to be some sort of co-creation here. New life. This is not just an ordinary person, y'all. It's so crazy because I be trying to use different decks because so much love reading has been coming out. And I know a lot of you guys are not in love like that, but I'm sorry. I cannot not put a message out to the ones that are in love. Like, <laughs> there's a group of people that are watching me right now. And I love you guys because I love this for you guys. You guys are in love. You guys are coming back together. You guys are ending a war. Because I feel like whatever war y'all was in with this person, it fucked y'all up because this was your friend too. This was somebody you called on when shit got tough and they would listen. Aside from sleeping with them. Y'all, this is a brand new life. Oh my gosh, this is a power couple with safe travels. Y'all, this is a power couple. Your guides see what you about to see in this person and why y'all was brought back together or why y'all was supposed to end a war. Y'all, look, friendship, guides, soulmate, safe travel in a new life. Y'all good, y'all protected. Y'all safe from all angles. This is you being granted a new life. This is certified. This this is not no longer in the works because again, X marks the spot is looking like cross paths. All right, so y'all, I'm really here to tell y'all for a certain group of you guys, baby. Y'all are creating a new life. You guys are rewriting your future with a specific person that was your friend. And y'all fell out maybe because of power. Maybe because somebody was tempted. All right. Or going through something. A power struggle. Okay. But somebody, this is going with the flow. This is like you guys being guided. Y'all. Literally, this is not going to be for everybody, y'all. Safe travels, baby. Like, you could feel safe. For some of you guys, whatever that went through, went on. We're going to find that out because I'm curious. Because it's going to be different for everybody. But whatever y'all went through, it probably created a wall up of trust. Like, um, not trusting. Um, having just a wall up. All right? Spirit is saying safe travels. You are safe with this person. This person will never let nothing happen to you ever. And you will not you will not let and let nothing happen to them. This is somebody you can feel safe with. This is somebody where you could go book that trip. You could go do whatever. It is safe. You're gonna have safe travels, travels with this person. 
All right. It's going to be a whole completely different life than what you guys went through. All right. Because I feel like whatever y'all went through as friends, it grew y'all tighter in soulmates. Okay. So, wow. Wow, y'all. This is, this is, this is a love reading. This is not even just a love reading. This is a soulmate, like, um, like twin flame turned soulmates. Friendship turned lovers type of energy. Commitment, feeling safe, even emotional safety. Spirit, give me more on this friendship and what was the cause of some sort of war that's ending? Maybe a war within somebody because somebody loved you so much. Wow, the tower. This is the end. This is the great crumble. This crumble of a foundation had to fall, had to be destroyed in order to rebuild on a stronger foundation because y'all, y'all relationship was weak in a, in a state. All right. It couldn't, it couldn't build. Your guys knew that something had to crumble for good. You hear me? Crumble for good. Hold on one second. Yeah, some, something had to be destroyed fully for you guys to come back and mend. And here we go. This is the great crumble. This is the tower that needed to be had. All right. And now this is the end of whatever war you guys were going through in this tower. It is the end. I'm talking about end. I'm talking about peace. I'm talking about elevation. This is, oh, this is number 17. But that reduces down to eight. All right. But this is literally an end of a major war with friends. This is signaling now peace after this great crumble. A lot of people are watching this tower fall. A lot of people. Wow. Ooh! The two of wands and you like, there you go. It's something about water. It's something about traveling. All right, again, safe travels. You're good wherever you're going. All right, you are good. You feel safe. You feel confident as hell. You are prepared. You are actually excited to see this person. All right. You got your you, <laughs> you got your suitcase packed, baby. You you got your swimsuit on. For some of you guys, you are already at the destination. Um, but this is giving vacation, baby. This it would but is giving the two of wands, you weren't willing to take another action until something was destroyed. That's what I see. You were watching it. But baby, you are ready. Okay, you are ready. Spirit, give me more on this spirit, guys. Please and thank you. Now things... Are springing back to action with this two of wands. Things are back in motion. All right, there's trips. Literally, is giving vacation. Wow, the Knight of Swords coming right in. They are coming in fast and swift. Expect a lot of communication out the blue. Expect a lot of conversations. Expect this person to be a little guarded again. This because this person got a whole helmet on. All right, they're riding a motorcycle. All right, so they are seizing an opportunity. They're coming in really, really fast. All right, this is a whole lot of somebody. Somebody has all the information that they were seeking in order to make a very important decision in their life, and they are ready. There's nothing holding them back no more. They literally are going with the flow. They are being literally guided to you with this God's card. All right. So this is, again, the Knight of Swords is the swiftest knight out of the deck. All right. They are actors. All right. They might move a little impulsively. All right. This person might want to take things fast or they might 
because I don't know, but this person is coming in swift. A lot of communication. All right. Um, Spirit, give me more on this Knight of Swords, please, with this guides. in love this is a love reading ace of cups y'all are going to be celebrating this is like a vacation baby for real with your man all right this is a vacation when i'm saying cheers to the good life this is like setting a mood all right this is expressing love this is new love ace of cups all right it's gonna feel fresh it's gonna feel rejuvenated you gonna feel like this person is pouring into you you are gonna be so excited to pour in this person this is a very rich, I'm hearing rich sex. <laughs> That's what I heard. All right. Yeah, so somebody ain't that guarded. All right. Somebody probably nervous. All right. But this is somebody coming in, coming to pour into you. Like, remember, y'all friends. So if friends that all lovers and soulmates could... Could withstand a tower and be together after a tower. Oh, yeah, y'all deserve a new life. Because, again, a lot of people talk loyalty. A lot of people talk this. But a lot of people don't, don't withstand towers. All right? This is a lot of de destruction here. And only the real and strong survive when it comes to soulmates. For real. That means you got to know your person and know why shit is happening. On a spiritual level, y'all, on a whole deeper level for you to withstand this tower with you and this person. All right, for a lot of you guys, again, this person might have suffered a little bit more than you in this tower because look at you, you coming out in a two of wands. You are waiting the whole time for you guys to live this life as you are taking the right action towards yours, right? And this person is um, really, really suited up. Like on a run. I don't get me on a run. Just as long as I'm next to you. Exactly. This is like on a run. Beyonce and Hovind J. I mean Hovind um, B. I don't care if we on a run. Just as long as I'm next to you. <laughs> okay. Wow, on a run. Yes, it's given on a run, y'all. It's literally given, given, mending this shit, talking about it. Y'all guys already got in you. Y'all been guided towards each other. Let this tower fall, all right? And literally move or evolve because that's why this person is moving fast. That's why you like, let's go. Because again, y'all friends first, so y'all know each other. You know, you know this person, and he knows you very well, all right? And that ace of cups to this new life and soulmate energy never left. And that's how you know who is meant to be in your life for a lifetime, a season, a lesson, or a reason. All right? You don't see this every day, y'all. And I feel like a lot of you guys can't even explain y'all relationship because... I don't see this every day. This shit is a little... It, it, if you explain this, like, oh, yeah, we was friends and we went through a major towel moment, but we understood certain shit. So, so you know, we remained, to, you know, in contact or bonded, even though we was going through a towel moment. And then y'all made different choices in y'all life, but y'all still remained tight. After a towel moment... And then somehow, the love is still there to where now y'all living together or now y'all evolving, now y'all having children or y'all just taking it to the next level. And then soulmate safe travels. Nobody ain't going to believe this shit. <laughs> That's why you can't tell everybody your business. Because this shit, I, I, I'm, I'm speechless. This is telling me that love do exist and loyalty do exist and friendships can turn into love. All right, this is soulmate energy. This is like, 
romantic. And that's pr you probably grew within your own friendships. You probably developed personally in your own friendships to understand how relationships work. Y'all, this is a new life you being granted, bitch. You and your nine of pentacles, exactly. So you realize how relationships work. And instead of being bitter, you understood that that person have served their life in your season as of, as of whatever you was going through. And you understood probably that if this person was meant to come back, they will always come back. And if not, I'm pretty sure with this nine of pentacles, you will find something else. That was you or you. You switched up your way of your relationship, baby. And the way how things are supposed to go. And whatever tower moment that has happened that now has ended and you guys are being guided back together. Look at you. You was doing your you was doing you. You in the nine of pentacles. This is independent success, wealth, all right, hard earned and deserve rewards financial prosperity in your own lane finding your niche finding your god-like frequency finding your belief who you are what you want to do in life the nine of pentacles is being seen for who she is she's a star she's capturing she's cat you know like um she's inspiring the spotlight is on you all right so that's what you was doing in the tower and that's why you was like you know what whenever this tower fall you know i'm all here if i'm not in a relationship or i'm you know you just open to things you open to how things you know you with the flow of life and it's big it's a very big thing to understand really how relationship is because you don't understand why people cheat you uh, you will understand certain things instead of condemning people <laughs> So, bitch, you aren't ready, and now you are because it didn't stop your motion. You actually prospered more as you ventured life within your own reality. Okay, so this is this is good energy, y'all. All right, it, you know, Devon Tommen was at play. All right, this is somebody that you are really, really going to experience a good ass life with because you went through hell and back with this person. This is like. This is like a comic situation turn Devon. Now tell me, because a lot of comic relations don't last. That means that two people see where they was, where, where Saturn was trying to teach them lessons at in themselves and about the other person. It, it's like comic, a comic relationship turned Devon. And have been, so a karmic relationship, you already know why that tower was there. So to have two people go through a, a karmic cycle and listen to their heart instead of what society or people, places and things make them feel like to do. And to thug it out and go off of what they, because that's the only way this is going to happen. All right. Is if y'all love each other so much that y'all see certain things that nobody sees and still come out together that means that y'all was right about each other and a separation needed to be had because you needed to get some way in your nine of pentacles maybe you was too dependent maybe you need to find your own lane maybe it was time for you to tap into those gifts because maybe this man need guidance all right literally you had to be put in position first but let me tell you this is a karmic connection turned divine and only the strong fucking survive because a karmic connection don't last like this if the two people that was in karmic relations or being karmic to each other don't change. Like these are two individuals, you and somebody that literally change within yourselves and see shit differently. Whether y'all still going through y'all changes because there's never ending of healing. But with y'all together, y'all going to maximize y'all healing because y'all know y'all made a change. And y'all still attracted to each other y'all still moving forward y'all this man coming in is back you know how and then friends that's what yo this reading is so amazing that's why it's important to be friends first with your partner if you can all right and not if you can you should or it's not gonna work because that's just like a friendship if the friendship is tighter than the relationship you know what i'm saying that's just like a friend now all of that sex and shit goes out the window and it's not really important because there's certain things and loyalty that y'all committed to as friends. All right, so that's just like if you have a best friend. 
All right, shout out to Puda. Me and my me and my best friend, she got the peanut butter. I got the jelly. I 